Yeah, man. I don't need all of you, man. I got so, we, so we get through talking to her real quick? Talking to her. Y'all wait? Right, so I got to wait on y'all to get done talking to her for me to leave? Mm-hmm. For what? To make sure you're not implicated in nothing else. If you ain't implicated, she don't implicate you, you're golden. Then we'll get you out of here. We'll give you a ride to where you need to go. What am I we'll saying? Yeah. They're still en route. They just got them and they should be here any minute. So she and y'all in there talking to her now? They just parked. They're fixing to walk them up. So so she she's been walking in now? So she's not going to walk in here. We got saying, a bunch I, of other rooms. I'm saying, so I got to sit in here until y'all get done talking to her. Correct. For what, though? Well, one, because... No, I'm trying to figure out why. The murder uh, vehicle mm-hmm. that was used, mm-hmm. you were driving it. Mm-hmm. That's one. Okay. Okay? So... Good. There was my day in my car, though, so... I understand that. That wouldn't that matter if it was a rental car. Right. I know it's not your car. But, yeah, but y'all got y'all got more goddamn clues and all the other shit than for other people. So why am I still here? Y'all got names from other people and everything. Leon, yeah, I'll just explain to you as soon as we get through talking to her. Friends, today's doodle dum-dums include Shailen Yeldon and Dion Nettles. I'm going to start with Dion. This is a continuation of the previous video I uploaded regarding the case of Shanteria Jones. Link to that is in the description. The context here is that Shanteria and her friend Shailen, they go to buy weed from the victim Daquan. They give him fake money and then Daquan ends up dead. Dion is the one that drove the getaway vehicle. So let's see his version of events, then I'll have Shailen's interview after. This is a homicide. Mm-hmm. It doesn't get any bigger. Crimes don't get any worse. Mm-hmm. You know, not a robbery, not a theft, not a rape, not a, I mean, this is murder. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's important. You be 100% honest and truthful. All right. Because we don't want you leaving here today mm-hmm. because it don't stop with just you today. We still are talking to other people. And these other people come in and say, man, Dion did this, Dion did that. Yeah. So 100 straight, yeah. whether it's about you help get rid of a gun, you help mm-hmm. clean a car. Yeah. Now's the only time you get to be honest. If yeah. you come back another day and say, oh, man, I forgot. Yeah. You fuck, bro. Yeah. You know, feel me? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm, that's all. Being 100. Yeah. And I'll be with you. You want him to talk out there at the scene. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate that. I've done this a long time. The way I do business, I don't like to put people's business out there in the street. Right out there in front of everybody. Because even though it's middle of the daytime, you still see even the old grannies and some mamas and stuff, everybody peeking out the window to see what's going on. We're giving you opportunity. You know, so I don't like to put it out there like that. That's why I said let's get you away from there and back to it. I'm saying I'm trying to see like what is my involvement in this doing? Like why am I here? Well we don't know. That's why we're talking well, about I'm telling you as far as this. Because I was in hand because all I was told was y'all were supposed to be coming to talk to uh, but talk to here's the thing guys. is that we were looking for that car mm-hmm. and I don't know you. Yeah. You don't you don't know us. Yeah. Right. And so we're we know we're looking for that vehicle. Uh-huh. And anything associated with that vehicle. Yes, you had to be in that car. Yes, so you were detained. Yes, You're not handcuffed now, right? Yes sir. So you, you understand where we're at? That's yes, why you were handcuffed. That's why you were detained. Yes, because sir. you were in the particular vehicle that we were looking for at that particular time okay. in reference to this. And that's why we want to hear the honest story from you. Yes, because yes. if we don't, and then other people come around and start giving their own two cents worth in, mm-hmm. it's like old saying, I said it earlier today, whoever gets on the bus first mm-hmm. gets a seat, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can't wait till the bus is full and want a seat. Yeah. It don't work. Yeah. All right? So, just like we talked out there on the street when I read your rights earlier, which I did, correct? Yes, sir. All right, and we were going to talk. Let's talk about the things uh, that happened with this murder. Can you do that for me? Oh, no, no, I wasn't up. What you heard. I can give you all what I heard. That's what we want. That's what we heard. Exactly. Can you do that for us? <laughs> all I heard was... Well, hang, hang tight. Is that what you can do for us now? Uh, all you gotta do is just sign. It. All this is is saying that I read. I read you your rights. That's I read all that it to you. Is. That's why I initialed each one of them, and I signed it. I just need you to sign. Well, you can reread it if you want, or if you don't, if you don't want to sign it, but you agree to it, say I just don't feel like signing. I really don't want to sign it. But but will okay. you talk to us? Yeah, I'll talk to you guys. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, Dion. Uh, we're, we're invest- listening. We're investigating a homicide, so we're we're listening to you, brother. Okay. Well, what I heard was there were three females involved. Okay, Sleazy, Kima, and Shani. They were supposed to be going to get some weed from the guy. So 
they them getting the weed. I don't know. They went to tussling or whatever. Then I heard, I don't know who shot, but they said somebody shot and killed him. And they shot like four or five times. And he, he was hanging on to the door or whatever. And he fell off. Like they kind of ran him over or whatever. Okay. So you tell me them females' names again. Sleazy. Sleazy. Now, yeah, would that be... It, would, it, would that be fair to say that is that uh that, that's Shay Shay, Shay Leasy? No, just say Shay. Shay okay. Pell. You can put Shay Leasy, it's Shay Sleazy, but Shay, they know where that's Shay. But that's what she goes by like on yeah, Facebook Shay, stuff Sleazy, like that. Yeah, on Facebook it's Sleazy. But she look like else, a, what's she look like? Uh, she dark skin with long haircut. She look like a boy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell me you did not laugh at that, okay? Stop lying. Now, let me give you context on the names. Right? Sleazy is Shaylin Yeldon. Right, her interrogation is coming after this one. Sleazy and Dion are friends. Shawnee was the old interrogation I posted. Sean Taria, that is Dion's girlfriend. Yeah, I do have Kima's interrogation also, who's a friend of all of them, but she just sits there and doesn't say anything. But those are the names for context. Anyway, let's keep going. So you can call her like Shay or Sleazy. Okay. And who was the other one you said? Uh, Shawnee, S H U N N Y. Yeah, yeah, what? All right. And Kima, K E M A. A E M A. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, Shawnee or whatever, that's your girlfriend, right? Yeah. Shantaria? Yeah. Jones? Yeah. Okay. All right. So she was with Shay, your girlfriend. Yeah, they were all together. All right, they was all together. Who is, who is Kima? Who do you Kima? Know? Yeah. I don't know. Like K I M A? K E M A. K E M A. K I M A. Either one. How do you know her? Uh, through her. It's one of her friends. Through your girl? Yeah. Okay. It's one of her friends. Where she stay? Uh, she stay in Dogwood. She stays in Dogwood too. What's she look like? Uh, she kind of uh, heavy set. Like, sure. two, like two bills, 180? What? Big. 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 Three Big. bills? <laughs> Three like, bills. Bigger than all outside? Yeah. <laughs> and so they all supposed to ride out and go buy some weed from. Oh boy. Yeah. How do they come across this kid? Or how do they know him? Or be honest, I don't know. You know how people be on Facebook there, right? Who got gas? Who mm -hmm. gas with emoji eyes? Mm -hmm. So uh, it had to be something like that. Because I don't even, I ain't even know him. He's 17. I'm way older now. So I don't know him. How old are you? 28. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't even know him. He 19. Yeah. So you, uh, I mean, was, was they looking for loud or what? So, so yes, yeah, loud. So did they, did they, have they dealt with him before? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Okay. So, but you don't know how they came across. No, sir. I'd probably like go through like her Facebook and everything like that to see Who, or, his, Shay? or his Facebook. Yeah. Okay. What was you doing on uh, Thursday night late? Like, or I'm sorry, not Thursday night. Wednesday, Wednesday night. With my son. Okay. Yeah, Where I, at the I house? Had my son, at yeah, Dogwood? Yes, sir. I had my son for the last two weeks. I got you. Girl. You stay with her over there? We've been, uh, we, well, we've been staying there. I've been there like two weeks. Off and on? Yeah, yes, sir. I got you. So you were there Wednesday. She left the baby with you? Yeah, I kept him. Okay. Yeah. And then all and all three of them left? Yeah. Okay. And, and then. They, told, they just told me that we want to get some weed from somebody. All right. And what happened? What time was that? I don't want to say a long time. I really don't. That's okay. I mean, I was it dark? Like, yeah, it was dark, though. Uh, it was dark for sure. I just don't want to get out the okay, long time. That's cool. But it was dark though. Man. Uh, so was now, you might be a little confused on what happened. So let me tell you. The three girls in question, they went to buy weed from Jaquan, the victim. Jaquan gives them the weed in the car. They give him a fake $100 bill or $60. Either way, they give him fake money, right? The moment the exchange happens, they take the weed. He realizes, wait, this money's fake. So he goes in to grab the weed. Then the scuffle happened. Then the shots were fired. Sean Turia is the one that shot him four times. Now, Dion did help clean up the mess. He wasn't there, but he was considered an accessory. During this entire interrogation with him, it seems all he cared about was the safety of his son. I'm going to keep playing it. But in your opinion, from what you see, what do you think should have happened to him? I'll tell you later, but I want you to comment. What do you think his punishment should be, if any? Just, I would just put him to sleep, so I know it was dark. And it was just them three? Yeah. Okay. And then, so they left. It's dark. They leave to go get some weed. And then, how long were they gone? Probably about 20 minutes. Okay. 
And when they come back, what happens? When they come back, like, they're like, oh, uh, we got the weed, so we walking out. So I'm saying, I'm outside, I'm smoking a cigarette outside. So I'm like, what happened to the window? So she like, oh, you noticed the window was gone? Yeah, so I'm like, what happened to the window? She was like, oh, uh, ain't nothing shaking out the door. She broke the window. And I'm like, okay, but I didn't believe it. So I'm like, all right, cool. So uh, we come out from like, what's wrong? What happened to the window? Like, what happened? Well, well, hang, hang on a second, Dion. So before they left, there wasn't nothing wrong with the car. Nah. The windows and all were fine. Yeah. They come back. You you sitting outside smoking a cigarette. You notice the windows broke, yeah. and you confront her about it. And she yeah. said, "Shay slammed the door. Ain't nothing. Shay slammed the door and broke it." Okay. And you didn't believe her. Yeah. I ain't okay. Had no more questions about it at all. Was she? Just, did she say anything wrong. else? Were they still just them three girls? Yeah. All right. And so, what happened? After that, everybody just came and went home, and she, everybody went to sleep. How did Kima go home? Just walk? Yeah, she stayed right, right up. Okay. Not too far. So she goes home, and Shay and, and your girl go in and go to sleep, mm-hmm. and y'all go to sleep. Yeah. Did you notice anything on them? Did they have any blood, anything like that on them? No, sir. The only thing I know was the weed that they said they were going to get. Was they upset at all? Did they show any type of emotion? Like when I And when I say that, I don't mean crying. But did they seem like they were excited? Did they seem like they were nervous? Did they seem like anything was out of the ordinary? Not really. Not sending it. Like she ain't seen it like out normal or anything like that. Or what about Shay? Shay, she just, like, she had a look on her face, but it wasn't like, I ain't know. Like she always be looking crazy, but it was like, it's just a little crazy look. I'm like, you straight cut off. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just thinking about something. What about Kima? Kima. She was more serious. Because you told me out there that last night she told you and her mama what happened. No. Huh? No. You did not say that. So you called me a liar. Oh, no. I just, what else do I need to know from you? It's the truth, brother. I mean, you know That's everything you truth. said in that truck is recorded, right? Okay. Do you realize that? Yeah. So we go pull that audio and pull that video out of that truck that you were sitting in when you said that and play your voice back and, and you hear yourself say that. Okay. And then you talked about the counterfeit money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, because they're, you said, they're, they're you know. They were supposed to give him some counterfeit money. Say again? They were supposed to give him some counterfeit money. They were supposed to give him some? Yeah. Like a $100 bill or what? Yeah. Okay. And then Dion, that's what I understand. Trust me, I get it. I've done this 25 years, man. All right? Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot harder motherfuckers sit over there. I mean, done a lot worse things. Yeah. That sat in these same rooms right here. Mm-hmm. I get it, brother. I mean, you don't want to be a snitch or a rat on your lady or whatever. I get it. I get it. But, you know, this ain't swiping a bag of chips from Circle K. This ain't stealing some gas. This ain't, you, hell, this ain't even robbing a store. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you got this whole, it's like the NFL, the MLB, the NHL, the NBA mm-hmm. is the top. Yeah. Same thing with murder. Yeah. It don't get no higher than that. You know, and right, wrong, or indifferent, mm-hmm. son, is, yeah, when people get killed or murdered, sure. They're, you know, nine times out of ten, they're out doing stuff they shouldn't be to start with, yeah. to put them out there, yeah. living a high-risk lifestyle. Yeah. If you weren't out there selling dope, you wouldn't have been killed that night, okay? But that still does not give any right by the man above or how we were raised or what we taught in school to take anybody's life mm-hmm. because, you know, he was still a son. He was still a brother. Yeah. He was still a grandson. He was still an uncle. Yeah. you know, to his family and people love him. And we had the family call us every day since Wednesday. have been up here countless times yeah. crying. I'm surprised. That's why there ain't no Kleenex in here right now because um, yeah. they're, they're out. All right. So step back a minute and think about the impact that when you take somebody's life, okay, that is final. It's not a video game. You don't get to fucking you know, get another player, reboot, have another turn. It's final. You know, you don't come back to life. It'd be nice if we could, you know. Now, do I think your old lady or this other girl, they bad people, and it, they went out, they're murderers? Fuck no. I know murderers. Like I said, I've seen real murderers sit right there. 
that's killed numerous people. Serial killers, you name it. And I mean, I looked at the car out there. We've towed it back and we're going to go through it. But I can definitely tell that the car has been wiped down. I can see on the windows where the windows have been wiped. And I know that. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. Chicks did it? They probably did. I know I ain't doing it. Did you see them do it? No, I ain't see them do it. But I know he had no parts in cleaning on cleaning the car out, anything like that. What 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 did Simon tell you happened? Because I know this is eat her up. This is eat her up. That's why she told you what happened. That's why she told her mama what happened. Get it off your chest, son. Huh? What did what she tell you that happened, brother? So that's the end of Dion's interview. Because he was an accessory. He was sentenced to eight years in prison. Let me know your thoughts. I'm now going to play you Shaylin's interview. What you're here for, and what I'm talking to you about, is a murder that occurred. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I mean, sometimes I feel like I say the same thing, but you know, you think of the NBA as being high, you go MLB. Uh, the uh, football the NFL. Yeah. That's the murder. There's no other charge in the United States, no other crime that is worse than murder. You know, don't matter, not a dope cop, don't matter about uh, burglary police, you know, traffic ticket cop, any of that stuff. Don't do any of that. All right. I can tell you, I mean, I've done this a long time. Done it longer than you've been alive. You know, I know I look young, but uh, no, I, no, I don't. I don't. Um, but before we bring people in, and you know, this goes back, we're here on uh, Tuesday. And uh, so we're almost seven days ago from when this happened. Okay. All right. So um, the things that we talk about and the things that you say, all right can, you know, definitely impact the things and the course that your life is going to take in the near future, all right? Because we wouldn't be sitting here right now if I didn't know some things, if we hadn't done our homework, all right? So, and you got to think, I've had some of these people down here for the last several hours, you know, we have Cinnamon's car and impound that we impounded uh, earlier today. Uh, we have our cell phones, the phone that you had, we got uh, Dion's phone. So we've done our homework, all right? So that's what I want you to understand. And, and talking to Cinnamon, and you know, she, uh, she was the same way, very scared, you know? That because she, she, I guess she's her best friend. She said that this old boy tried to rob you. Did he? Yeah. Of what? Your money? How much money did he try to rob you of? 60. For the, for the bag? Did you ever get the weed or never got it? You never got it. You never got it? All right. And I know this is hard. But I'm telling you, you know, this wasn't going away. You were probably thinking about it ever since it happened. You know, because she ain't a bad person. She's not a bad person. Y'all not criminals. Y'all not. Y'all really not. You know? When he tried to rob you, what did he say? Did he get he got in the car with y'all? Who who we driving? Were you driving or was Cinnamon? Yeah. Cinnamon was driving. And who was in the front passenger? You? Was in the front passenger. And she was in the back. Yeah. And then he gets in the, the, obviously he gets in the passenger side behind you. So he gets in the car and says, give it up. Yeah. All right. And then what? Yeah, it's like everything just went blank. Like we went for like everything. My money, like. And I was asking for the weed. Like, you know, what was that? It's all right. It's all right. And he didn't want to give it to me. And it's like, he really hard. Had you already given him your money? I had already gave it to him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, 
it just he didn't want to give it to me. He's like, you kind of got like in a scuffle a little bit. This was all in the car. Yeah, kind of. And were you out or still sitting in the car? Yeah, I was still in the car. Oh boy, was behind you. Behind me. But did he keep the door open? He did. Okay. So as we got the scuffling a little bit, of course, him was like my big sister. She wasn't going to let anything happen to us or anything of that nature. So as he kept scuffling and fighting with me, I, I got I hit him in his face, and then next thing you know, did you hit him with a pistol? In my fist. All right. Okay. So all this happening, baby, I'm, I'm going to go in a minute. I mean, he's got the door kind of open and he's what, halfway in, halfway kind of out. Mm-hmm. And does your door open or you kind of, you, you turned around in like, the seat? I'm turning around in the seat because I don't want to, I don't want to get out. I don't, I'm, 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 my safest place right now is the bar. Right. So I didn't get out. So I just turned around and I just, I, I just hit him and he got to hit me back. And he still didn't. Get what we came for, and so he was going basically. You said he's going to take your money and then try to haul ass and yeah. not okay. Yeah. All right, and uh, who uh, who had a pistol? I can't huh? I, can't I mean, it, it honestly, you know, at this stage of the game, I mean, it, it doesn't matter, you know, yeah. if, if you had it, if Kima had it, or if Cinnamon had it, but. What is important to note is that one, the gun is to be taken off the street so nobody else gets a hold of it. It needs to be destroyed. Okay. So, you know, no kid gets it, no kid gets shot, nobody else does a shooting with it or anything like that. Okay? Where is that gun? The gun is, I honestly don't know. I wasn't with nobody in the disposal. And, 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 all right, let's back up just a minute, because that's the, if we're going to be all in and we're going to be honest, you know, for the camera up here, if we're going to be honest, we got to dot our I's and cross our T's. And I know you don't want to relive it in your head. And I, you probably don't want to even see photos of him that I have, you know, and I understand why you got rid of your social media because you don't want to hear the bullshit that comes along with it because it gets nasty. Mm-hmm. Trust me, I've looked at it ever since last visit. You know? So, let's back up and let's tell it all 100% from the get go so we can get it done and we can get it over with. And that way you don't have to sit there. And mm-hmm. be, because, unfortunately, it's a part of you now. But we have to heal and we have to move on. But keeping it inside is no way to, to live, you know, like that. Yes, sir. So, now, I want you to, I'm going to start off, and I want you to correct me if I'm wrong in anything. All right. He had hit y'all up, or you up on uh, Messenger, just, you know, put the sign by, I got gas. Yes. And then it goes from there to what we got. Okay. Do you know this guy at all? Well, and, and, and you're right, but you know, just like I told Cinnamon, it wouldn't matter if your uncle said, Hey, I got a buddy of mine I've been friends with for 10 years. His name's Steve. Y'all go deal with him. He could have tried the same shit. You know, you don't know that, you know, and, and you're right. Y'all were three girls. He thought he was going to get old by me. Sure. Uh, I ain't no doubt. I ain't know that. Okay. There we go. All right. So, this is true. Mm-hmm. All right. You with me on that? Yes, sir. All right. And this is Edison. Mm-hmm. All right. And like I said, he was he was at a house about right here. Mm-hmm. And, of course, as soon as you make this turn on Trenton Drive, he's right there, you know, on the side of the road. You know, it looked like, you know, he was shoved out of the car or fell out of the car. Okay. So, um... Do you remember? So, do y'all think y'all come this way? No, we never, we never went that way. I think I want to say we came from here because we were you no know, this way. Okay. 
And did y'all meet him somewhere in the road right in here? We met him um, at a at a house. It wasn't even. Was it on Trenton? Yeah, it wasn't even. I don't even know if it was his house or not. Okay, he, so it's pretty close to where he we was found. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, and the plan was to spend sixty dollars to buy some weed. Yeah. All right. All right. So. Because I read in there, hey, you pull up this time after that, you know, I'll fuck with you, you know, I'll come to you or whatever. Yeah. So, I understand. All right, so he gets in the car, get, uh, he gets your money, and he don't want to give the product up. Yeah. He's like, he said give it up, or he tried to rob all y'all. He's like, give it up. And I don't know what, I don't know if he said anything to Ken, but I was just like, you know, give up what? Like, you know, I came out the house and it was $50 for my room. Like, what makes you think I'm gonna have anything more than that on me? And like I said, like, <sighs> like he act like he, I'm like, you need to give my, you know, six dollars back and you just go. Like, cause you're not gonna give it to me. Like, ain't no need for us to sit out here and do this. He just kept, he just didn't want to give me me. Like, and I just was like, damn. The next thing you know, like, he didn't try to like grab it and take off and run. Like, he he grabbed my money and then like like it's like he was trying to like open the door but before I knew it like I just I I hit him just for the good yeah you busted him one I, time I hit him I hit him I did I'm right like, in the mouth just it was and I and it's like I can still see the hits like because it was it was just right there like I just was hitting him and like he tried to call himself like hitting back or grabbing towards me. And the same way, and then she shot. Where'd she get the gun from? I'm not sure. Kevin. Okay. Or uh, Dion, excuse me. Mm -hmm. What kind of gun was it? I'm honestly certain. I'm right hand on the bottom. It was right here. I don't know guns. I don't. Okay. Uh, well, are you familiar with when I say a cowboy gun? You know, a cowboy gun is like the, well, it's it's got the wheel in it that oh. you got the it, it turns. You know, it's what they I call re the a revolver, and then you got the kind that you see most on TV, TV, like in the kind the police carrying everybody. They rack the slide back. Mm -hmm. Those are called semi-automatic. Was it uh, a gun that takes a clip and a slide, or is it one that only holds like five or six rounds and it has a wheel in it? I want to say probably. Let's see, just to make sure we're talking right here. And of course, this is all different kinds of guns, but just to give you an idea, they come in all different size. You know, that's a revolver. It's got the kind, the, the cylinder in it that spins around, and then that kind's a semi automatic. You know, here's another one, like another little pistol, and then a revolver type. It was one of the little baby, the little silver ones. Like a little, little snub nose. Yeah. What color was it? I think it was like a black handle. Was, just... was the metal on it black also, or was it chrome or blue? Yeah, it was the metal on it was black. The metal on it. Okay. And uh, how many shots did Sam fire? You really have to fast. I, I, want, I heard about three shots. Okay. Did, um, so... If, if I'm cinnamon driving and, and you're sitting right here, but your face is around or whatever, when the shit starts going down, is she still in the car like this? So when she draw, where'd she take the pistol from? Her purse or her? She have it in a waistband? I have no idea because I was, I want to, I'm in the midst of it coming out. I want to say I was still kind of, tussling. Right. I was still tussling because I'm. I was thinking like maybe somebody was gonna try to go get out the car, throw him out the car, or, you know, push him back or something. Because he, I'm telling you, this man just kept coming. Like he was a fighter. I can't say that. Like he fought. Did, with did me. he ever punch you in the face or anything? No. Did he ever punch any of the other ones? No, I don't know if he hit you in the back of everything. I don't know if I. Did he pull a knife on y'all or anything? Yeah. He did pull a knife? He did have a knife. Okay. Do you know what it looked like? No, sir. Okay. Did he have a gun? Did you see a gun? Okay. 
All right. Um, so I take it as y'all touch them, she reaches back from something like this, and she just boom, 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 and the door was still kind of partially like open. And he's kind of halfway in and halfway out. So once the shot is fired, she smashes it. Okay. And then, um, how does he end up out of the car? Does Kima push him out or shove him out as the I car goes? Say, I, I want to say, like, as he was, I don't know. I don't know what happened back there on that end, but he probably, he, he could have been pushed. I'm not sure. I can't, I really can't tell you. So he could have been pushed, or I feel maybe the dead weight. And then making a turn or something yeah, that kind of. Yeah. Like okay. throw them out. All right. So once that has happened, all right. I'm sorry, excuse me. I want to get you tootsies. All right. So once that happens, okay, like we said, he is found, you know, about right in here, okay, mm-hmm. on the side of the road. All right. So obviously y'all are heading out this way. Y'all smash and go this way, right? Mm-hmm. All right, and which way do you go from there? How'd you do that? You, you hold this and hit that, or yes. and then what? Push up. Yes. Oh dang, dang good. All right, so this is still Trenton. We were back down here, so y'all smash out and y'all go this way. Yeah, too. I, I really want. To, I don't. I hate Mayfair. I never, I know. never liked Mayfair. Did y'all come back out on Fairfield? It was like the. Or did y'all come back out on Mobile Highway, or did y'all come out on uh, Massachusetts? I want to say maybe the name of the road, um, Ruby or Aquamarine. I want to say it's Ruby. By the gas station? I think so. Wilson had just got free. He okay. was supposed to be going to my mom's house. Okay. And uh, as did y'all go straight there? Or did y'all drive around to kind of uh, chill for a minute to figure out what the hell's going on? If I'm thinking about this, um, uh, cinnamon. What, what was uh, what was she wearing that night? I can't remember. Shorts. Tank top. I think. Tank top. Yeah. Shorts. Pants. Long pants or, or capris or something? Like those? Like okay. Jeans? Yeah. Okay. All right. And what about Kima? It was a bum in my head, so he wasn't really. <laughs> gotcha. He wasn't planning on going to hit the club. What were you wearing that night? I just had on a tank top and some balling shorts. And some white shirt? Oh, sure. Balling shorts. Oh, like, like uh, workout shorts, you yeah. know, something like that? What color shorts? They were on um, red. They were red. God dang, man, this thing's loud. You know? Um, like, so red gym shorts and a what color tank top? Like, I want to say, like, pinkish tan. A pinkish tan, and you have on sandals? Yeah. All right. And then, uh, Cinnamon, she had on some jean. Are they jean colored or are like, they? Like, you know, I say jeans as in like pants. Like, but, but what color? Like blue, green, yellow, red? Jean, oh, jean. Like jean denim. Uh, oh, denim <laughs> color pants. Like yeah. something like that. And a tank top. And then probably some, she have on some sandals too? Probably. All right. And then chemo. We, uh-huh. You said good one. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> uh, she said, uh, or she was wearing, uh, you don't remember, or? Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, how, now, let, let's back up just a minute. As the shooting is going on, and, you know, things are just, trust me, I've been around it, I know, you get focused in and kind of like this, you know? Right. How did the window get broken in the shooting? I'm not sure. Did one round go out the window or go through the door? I think so. Okay. Did it go through the window or did it hit the door and break the, the glass inside? I'm not sure. Okay. All right. But when y'all were pulling out of there, there wasn't a window to roll up. So, was there glass? All right. So, 
obviously it probably got broke somewhere out there. Yeah. Did you remember trying to roll the window? I, I did, and I just noticed like it just wasn't going, and I happened to look like that. Oh, but the window was up prior to yeah. all this; it wasn't rolled down. No. Okay. All right. Good enough. All right. So uh, you leave out of there. You make the loop back. Everything's crazy. Y'all go back home. All right. So then, tell me what happens when you get back to the house. Once I got back to the house, I'm still everywhere. You What's know? that? I said I'm still everywhere. Like, what's going on? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I know you geeking or whatever, yeah. but what what do the boys say? The boys? Yeah. Honestly, I I was really focused on me in that moment because processing everything that just fucking happened. Like this shit was bad. And you're in a bind because that's your kin folk. You yeah, know. Right. Now she your blood kin? That's my blood. That's the first thing. So it's like like I wasn't really studying anything. My boyfriend was just concerned as hell, trying to figure out what the fuck happened. What the hell was going on. Because see, you know, it took us a little while for stuff to come in, but see we'd gotten a call. And we didn't put two and two together at the time that somebody, don't know if it was you, but somebody with the, that when somebody got out of the car, that, you know, the window was broke out and there was either blood on the car or there was either blood on them. I can't, I'd have to look back at the tip or whatever. Was it on the car or was it on somebody? Probably, if anything, I mean, probably, it was probably on somebody. I mean, the glass. You get cut by the glass in it. No, you don't remember that. I'm sorry. All right. So, your boyfriend, he's going with the fuck and all this. And what's uh, Dion saying? Because Dion, no, Dion been around a little bit, you know. He ain't, he ain't green to any of this, you know. Mm -hmm. So, he's a little bit older, and I mean, you know, I know who he is. What'd he say? He said, hey, let's get rid of the fucking gun. <laughs> Huh. I don't even know, man. I took a little shower, process. <sighs> the fuck was going on? I'm gonna tell you. I took me a hot ass shower for about a good thirty minutes. Till the water ran out. Till the water ran the fuck out. And by the time I got out of that shower, my boyfriend was like, "You need to go see about your mom." Because at the end of the day, like my mom. You really did need to go I, see her. I really did need to go see her. Because she got diabetes. Yes. Yeah. It's really, really bad. And I've been with her for the last couple of days. So. I got you. I got you. So, I appreciate it. All right. And so, um, have y'all three discussed it? Yeah. Honestly, like, we just. Try to, try not to don't, 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 don't say no. It's hard. I know, baby. I know it is. I know it is. Because, I mean, you know, right, wrong, grand, different. I mean, it's still a human being, you know. And, you know, somebody loves me, you know. Yeah. So, right, wrong, grand, different, you know. And and that's part of it, as bad as this is, you know. It's, it's nothing personal. I mean, it's business. We have a job that we have to do. But I can tell you this, I 100% appreciate sincerely your honesty, and that means a lot, and it does mean a lot, because I knew from the get-go, as time went by, we're not dealing with people that's out here just murdering people. I knew something went down, and but like I said, it's not a video game. We can't hit reset or replay or pause. You know, if I could, if I could cut the gun, I, I would, I would have never went. I know, I know. If I would have known it was gonna go like that, I would have never went. Had, had you known your your kin heard her to carry a, a, a gun before? You think maybe her, her old man said, "Hey, if you're gonna go do this bullshit, you better take something." Maybe, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I really need that gun. I really need that gun. Can you tell me where's that? I mean, and I don't care if it's, 
I mean, no bullshit now. I don't need to be on a wild goose chase, but if it was thrown in the water, if it was thrown in the dumpster, if it was buried, if it was given to a jet for $10, I mean, I need something, but I don't need to be on no wild goose chase. Yes, I'm you know? I want to see you on wild goose If I can think, I'm, I'm going to think, I don't know where to go in that. I don't know. I don't know who did what with it. No way. She so thinks she still got it? She don't even know if she still has it. I'll tell you that. Did she give it to Kimo? Who's she Kimo with? By herself, or she got a youngest? No, no. She's just by herself. Yeah, we're all we're all single women. Well, we don't have no term. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. Um. So let's talk a, about the car then. Um. Who cleans up the car? I got whatever glass. I know I got some glass up out here. Like in the floorboard, or mm -hmm. okay, like y'all go to a, to a uh, car wash and do some vacuuming, or or just there at the complex, y'all suck it out with a vacuum or try to sweep it up. Or? The big pieces, um, we did. Well, I did pick up or whatever, or whatnot. But as far as like the, the rest of everything that was on the car, I had to go to work. The next day, so you got a time schedule. Yeah, I, I, I really work. I know you do. I know you do. And, um, you didn't need this bullshit, did you? But hey, um, but uh, honestly, if they, I don't know if they went to get it cleaned out and what they did it. I don't, I don't know. Do you recall seeing any blood in the back seat where he was at or anything of that nature? He had on like bulky clothing, like. A big old jacket, or something. Yeah. so I didn't. Did y'all take anything off of him during the fight? That was his necklace ripped off or anything of that nature? No, sir. Okay. Did y'all find anything in the car um, after everything had happened and settled down that you thought shit this may belong to him that we need to get rid of? My sixty dollars. <laughs> you got your sixty back? Yeah. But no weed. No weed. Okay. Still no weed. I got you. Got you. Sir. And uh, he leave the phone in the car, or phone fall out or anything. So that's the end of Shailen's interview. To conclude, Shailen was sentenced to four years. Dion was sentenced to eight years. I'm not too sure why there's a disparity, but it is what it is. And from the previous video of Sean Terry's interview, she was sentenced to 15 years in prison. All this over a bag of weed and some fake Monopoly money or something. Doo-doo fucking dum-dums. Thank you for watching.